As passionate hunters, we know there's no do-overs. From our sights to our quivers, we've always relied on TrueGlow to provide the most durable, reliable, and functional accessories ever made. TrueGlow's passion is ensuring our success. That's why we're excited to introduce their most advanced releases ever, the TrueGlow Nitrous and Detonator. Both offer TrueGlow's patented BOA closure system, allowing for a glove-like fit and all-day comfort. The innovative side lock connector gets the release out of your way when you need to. They feature an ultra-smooth, silent, micro-adjustable trigger pull and stainless steel wear-free jaws that provide 100% confidence shot after shot. And the 360-degree rotating head eliminates string torque. The Nitrous features a stainless steel dual jaw design, while the detonator incorporates a revolutionary single jaw design. There are plenty of things to focus on during the hunt. Your equipment shouldn't be one of them. The Nitrous and Detonator releases only from TrueGlow. We're Cody and Kelsey Robbins from Live to Hunt TV. And we shoot True Fire releases. This is a release I shoot, it's the True Fire Spark. And it's designed for ladies or youth shooters, so it has a really slender, slim design to it, and that's one of the things that I absolutely love about this release. When I'm shooting my bow and out full draw, I don't even feel my release on my wrist, and that's the way it should be. Everything should be smooth and natural, and that is why I shoot True Fire releases. I shoot the release they call the Chicken Wing by True Fire. One of the biggest reasons that I shoot the Chicken Wing is because of the fine adjustment on the neck. You can adjust this release right down to the nearest millimeter of where you want it to sit in your hand, and I think that's important. When you're shooting a bow, you want to pull back and you want to find that anchor exactly where you want it to be and not have to adapt to the length of a release in your hand. And the chicken wing does just that for me. Whether shooting at a target or coming to full draw on a big mealy buck, the chicken wing gives me all the confidence I need to make that shot. And that's exactly why I shoot. Hey everybody, Casey Kiefer here from Dropped and Rival Wild. Today I want to talk to you a little bit about archery releases. I'm going to talk to you about the release that I've been using religiously over the past few years, which is actually the Hardcore Buckle Foldback from True Fire. This release right here is awesome. It comes in a couple of different versions. It comes in a black version. It comes in a black max version that has a super thick plush strap. It also comes in a four finger uh, and a camo version as well. This one happens to be just the hardcore buckle fullback black. Um, and this release is incredible. One of the best things about this release is the amount of adjustability that it gives you. A lot of people don't think in terms of adjustability when they think archery release. True Fire did and they nailed it with this thing. So you've actually on this release itself, up here where the trigger head is, the post and the trigger head is, uh, you've got a full inch of adjustability up and down. There's a little set screw in here. All you do is take an Allen key, pop that set screw loose, and then you actually thread this thing up and thread it back down. And that's gonna set your length and your adjustment on your length. It also has adjustability in the trigger. So you can adjust this trigger from three to 16 ounces. You hear a lot of people talking about trigger pressure when it comes to rifle hunting. Again, not a lot of people discuss it when it comes to archery releases. The trigger is adjustable. You can set it to be a super fine trigger, which only helps you when you're, when you're releasing that shot. Um, and then also one of the other designs, the swept back trigger. Having a trigger that's laid back and swept back like that allows you to relax that back hand as much as you can when you're at full draw. And when you touch the trigger, off it goes. So there's a lot of adjustability. There's a lot of cool design features. Um, the hook, the hook that's out on the end here, guaranteed not to slip off your bowstring in the loop. It's guaranteed not to do that. I prefer a wrist strap when I'm in a tree stand. This is the release I use. So the next time you're out there, be sure to check it out. Today we're gonna to talk about the ghost release from Scott Archery. The ghost release is a hook style release with an auto magnetic return system. So what that means is after you fire a shot, the trigger is going to automatically reset so you're ready for the next shot. This release comes with a solid swivel connector with five holes for length adjustment. The Ghost release comes with a leather strap with neoprene on the inside, built for all day comfort. Another cool feature of this release is the cam lock system. There's three positions in which this release can set. If you put it on your wrist and you're walking to your stand and you want it out of the way, you can lock it back out of the way. If you want it free floating, you can do that as well. Or when it's go time, you can lock it forward so it's right in the correct position. You adjust the length on this release by removing this screw here on the barrel, and then you can pull it to the desired location 
insert the screw back and you're ready to go. So if you're in the market for a new release, Hey guys, Ryan Wascom here with the Trained Assassins and I'm getting ready to do a little shooting this morning. I want to talk to you about the new release from True Fire. It is called the Panic X and uh, it cures target panic. Man, everybody deals with it at some point in their uh, shooting career, whether you're on the 3D range or if you're hunting, you know, you deal with it. I've dealt with it before. Uh, I just didn't have the luxury of having this release to help me cure it. Uh, it's got an on-off switch on it. You know, you can cut it on, you can cut it off. Uh, it's great, you know, while you're out shooting during the summer to leave it on. And then if you want to cut it off once you get in the woods, that's fine. Or if you get used to it and you realize that you have cured your target panic, you can turn it off. So uh, it's just a great, great release. It has the uh, fold back buckle on it. And it also has a capture hook on it, which is just another great feature of the Panic X. If you have target panic, or either you're just looking for a new release, go to truefire.com and check it out. Panic X. Hi, I'm Chris from Spot Hog Archery Products. This video will show you how to adjust your Wise Guy release from right hand to left hand. To switch both the Velcro and the buckle rigid heads, fold back the release so that you can see the two screws on the back side of the release. Insert the Allen wrench into the button head screw that clamps the triangle D-ring to the rigid connection. Loosen the screw completely and rotate the release head to the opposite side. When you remove this cover, there's a pin underneath that you need to make sure it gets placed back within the D-clamp itself here. If it's too hard to get the clamp off, if you wiggle this back and forth, it'll help loosen the cover. That's the pin I was talking about. If you flip this over, it'll allow you to get it apart. Slide the, sometimes it's even easier if you pull the pin out. Slide the head back under, I've now rotated it. Fit the pin back into the hole. can't get it in the hole quite right you might have to wiggle this around make sure it seats completely insert this insert the screw tighten it back down and you'll have switched it from right-handed to left-handed This will complete the right hand to left hand conversion for both the Velcro and Buckle Rigid Wise Guy releases. Now for the leather strap model with the floating nylon connection. You have to undo the nylon strap from the buckle. This will allow you to remove the release head from the strap itself. Flip it over on the strap to switch it back between right and left hand. Install the strap back through the buckle. And there you've made the conversion. To learn how to adjust the Wise Guy releases further, please view the other Wise Guy adjustment videos. I want to talk a little bit about the smoke today, and as is the case with most of their caliper releases, True Fire has the fold back design, which I love. Gets it out of your way from the gear and everything else. You can keep it like that, climbing up. You're not clinging on the stands or anything else. One of the things I like about the smoke is the forward trigger. It makes it much easier to take a deep bite and get a smoother release. You never want to release from this position because you'll end up jerking the shot. From back here, it's much smoother, gives you a better release. It's a dime size head, and of course, it's that small dual caliper. Love this new release. One thing, one note I might add when it comes to caliper releases, you can set it up in the summer, get it to the length where it's comfortable to where you have a consistent squeeze every time. However, when you go hunting, don't forget you're going to add a glove to that and then all of a sudden the position changes. So just before the season, if you hunt with gloves on, make sure you readjust the overall length to accommodate that glove. 
That's the new smoke from True Bar. Love it. Hi, this is Jeff with True Glow. I want to show you how to change out the color sleeves on your Speed Shot bow release. To make the change, you'll need a 3 8 wrench. First grab the, the release head and loosen and remove the lock nut. Remove the sleeve, select the sleeve color that you would like, reinstall it on the wrist strap, engage the nut and then lock it back. You want to make sure that there's, there's enough thread from the release post exposed to make sure it's secure. Three or four threads exposed is good. Make sure that the sleeve is nice and tight also. Once you've done that, you're ready to go.